Hi gorgeous, welcome back to my channel. Let's play with Blend Bunny. I love Blend Bunny. It's one of my favorite indie brands. I bought this the day it launched on June 26th. It is still available. I give you a couple of the details at the beginning of the eye tutorial. I'm not gonna touch too much on that, but I wanna let you know it is still in stock. I love Blend Bunny. This is a cool toned, straight to my heart palette. I love cool tones, but I love indie brands. So if you are someone who is unfamiliar with indie brands, I hope this video inspires you because I love them. I feel like they have some of the best color stories at some of the best prices. This eye look is gonna be its own standalone video. If you were hoping to see the rest of this face makeup, it should be up next. If it's not already up, it'll be up next. But either way, I will link them together after they are both live. But without further ado, let's go through this palette. I have been sitting on it for too long and this look that I created, I am in love. I cannot wait to wear this for the rest of the day and I wanna show you how I did it. And as always, everything on my face is linked down below in the description box. If you click on those links to make a purchase, I do earn a small commission, so thank you so much for supporting my channel. If you find today's video helpful in any way whatsoever or inspiring, don't forget to give this video a like. And do not forget to hit that subscribe button if you are already not subscribed because outside of the last week or so, I do try to do two to three videos a week. Let's dive into the Blend Bunny Longing Palette. I am a huge fan of Blend Bunny. Maggie creates some of the most beautiful color stories I've ever seen. And on top of it, her formulas are amazing, top tier. Indie brands are some of my favorite for eyeshadows, especially color stories that are unique. So I love playing with indie brands any chance I get. And today is that day. I know I just did one with the Cosmic Brushes. I believe that was the Cool Trolls palette. So today we're doing longing and I'm gonna compare the two and then in a separate video, I'm gonna play with both of them together and see if I can get similar looks. This palette launched on June 26th. It is $42. Oh my gosh, 24 shades. I am gonna read her description. Maggie describes it as one of those palettes designed as a single palette of two summers ago, time lost, kind of like nostalgia in a palette, which is how I feel when I look at it. Each row has their blend trio with a shimmer that complements it. There's a couple duo chromes, a multi-chrome. She also goes on to say this is like heartbreak in a palette, unrequited feelings, missing pieces, days long gone, and I genuinely feel like I'm kind of going through that now in my own personal life, even though I've gone through those myself and I'm sure we all have. A palette created for hopeless, tragic romantics inside us all. 100% agree when I look at this palette. And for the record, I do not have a code with Blend Bunny. However, there are plenty of creators who do. You can get some, some money off if you use a creator's code. So do that if you're interested in picking this up. And before I forget, this is cruelty-free, 12-month shelf life, and you get a total of 26, well, is that 26? No. <laughs> yeah, 26 grams, 0.91 ounces. I cannot read for the life of me this morning. Bear with me, it might be a long day. I'm gonna start off with the shade Woe on a Danessa Myricks My Kit Co brush. This is in my 20. I primed my eyes with the Kaleidos primer. I'm almost out, so I'm trying to use as much of that as I can. You would get a more impactful green shade if you use a white base. I just don't feel like bringing out my white base. And I'm gonna build this up just a little bit more than I would typically starting off all through the crease. I'm starting off with my eyes first because I'm doing two separate videos for this one. And I have a different video planned with the base products I'm gonna be using today. That is a very beautiful and impactful shade and I've only built it up once. One of my favorite things about the Blend Bunny brand, it's an American indie brand. However, the shipping is so fast, Maggie ships hers in bubble wrap packaging and it has on the label, fragile. I think it's like a glass label and my son's having a very good time, I'm sorry. So that label, I just, 
I love it. I think it's absolutely clever and it, my packages have always come perfectly handled. I'm gonna take a smaller My 19 brush and I'm gonna take the shade Bottled Up just one step over and build this up throughout the crease just a little bit deeper. And remember, a good blend is a lot of back and forth, so. But I'm not trying to be too complicated today. I'm gonna try and keep this a little more user-friendly. I'm gonna start on this outer corner here and work my way in. And if you notice, I'm not bringing it to the inner corner crease here. I'm kind of keeping it about halfway. When I look at this palette, it reminds me of a Midsummer's Eve breakup. If you've ever had a breakup in the middle of summer, you get it. But that's what I feel like when I look at it. But also, a lot of the, the loss I have felt in my life over time, kind of like that too. These greens though, mmm. Seal in my heart with these greens, these teals. And now on a My 25 flat brush, I have taken the shade Forlorn. I'm gonna build this up kind of at an angle on the outer corner. I'm trying to get most of the shadow off before bringing it into my crease. And this style, or technique rather, of shadows is easy for me, so I like doing this technique more than some of the more unique ones I've done. They take a little bit more thought processing for me. I'm just gently bring the rest of this up into my crease. When I do a patting motion as opposed to a swiping motion, I find I get a more opaque look with this color or with any color in general. That's what I like to do to get the most depth out of my colors. I'm gonna take that same shade on my 23. It's a very small paddle brush and sweep it along the lower lash line. I'm only bring it in about halfway. I'm gonna bring it up to meet that outer corner. And now I'm gonna take the shade Old Photographs. This is on an old Makeup Forever brush and I'm gonna bring this into the front half of my lower lash line. It's a little bit deeper than I thought it would be from the palette. And now I'm using Twist of Fate on a melt pencil brush. I'm gonna place this all along the inner corner, give it a little bit of a purple twist. And this is where a white base would actually come in very handy to help make this shade in particular really pop. After thinking it over, I'm gonna take Twist of Fate and bring that onto the mobile lid to about the first third of my lid really pack it in there. This is my NYX glitter glue. I'm gonna use this on the mobile lid, not too far up into my crease, but not too far in either. These are two shimmers I'm kind of thinking of. This is the shade All That's Left. Well, actually this one is, I lied, hold on. No, 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 I was right. This is the shade All That's Left. These are both so similar. And this is the shade Remember. They are so similar. Let me see if I can build it up a little bit because I I want to use one of these, but these are a lot more similar than I thought they would be. All that's left has quite a bit more pigment to it, more of a base. And then Remember has less pigment. I don't know how well that's coming across on camera. I'm going to start off with When It Rains. I'm going to use my finger to pack it on the mobile lid right in the center. Bringing it up into my crease just a touch. And then I'm gonna pack it over that deep green. Now I'm gonna take Love Letters and I'm gonna gently place that on the front third and gently bring it into that green. And for mixing purposes, I'm gonna like swipe them together. And just do a little back and forth with my fingers that still have that pigment on it. Oh, that's so pretty. That turned out better than I thought it would for sure. And let's do one more sparkle. Actually, before I do that, I'm gonna blend off camera a little bit because I need to get that blend how I like it before I do any toppers. This is the shade Sonder. I'm using this shade to blend out my lower lash line on a My 29 brush. I don't want my lower lash line to come down too low, but I'm also gonna clean it up a bit with my base makeup. I'm taking the shade Remember on an E36. It's one of my favorite tiny fluffy brushes. It's very loosely packed. I'm gonna use this to highlight my brow bone. Ooh. And then gently kind of bring it into that, well, kind of here. I don't really know how to describe that, so. You don't have to do this. I love doing this. 
just kind of adds a pop and then I'm going to diffuse it. If I overdo it, I diffuse it with that first initial brush I used. That very first shadow. And then ever so gently, I'm going to bring it right here on that, right above the crease. Kind of blend it into those shimmers. It diffuses that shimmer I laid down in the crease, but it also kind of gives a highlighted pop. And then I am not bringing any shimmer into the inner corner. I'm going to use this purple shadow twist of faith. I'm just going to reapply it on that same pencil brush after I gently diffuse this. This is the original shadow, no additional product on that original My 20 brush, the very first one I used to kind of help diffuse a little bit of that shimmer in my brow bone. This turned out way more beautiful and perfect than I even dreamed of. I cannot wait to finish off my face makeup and see how this all comes together. I don't even know what lashes I'm gonna use yet, but I'm gonna finish my face makeup off, well, not off camera, I'm doing that in a separate video. And then I will come back when I'm all complete to show you the completed look. This is my completed look. I am so thrilled with how it turned out. A lot of the things on my face complement my eyes to a T. I love it. I feel a little bit grungy, very sultry, but also whoop, put together in a way that I am so excited to wear for the rest of the day. This eye look just kind of screams that midsummer longing that I was talking about in the tutorial, and I am excited to wear it. For eyeliner, I'm using the Sailor Moon. I believe this one's Crystal Tokyo from ColourPop. It's that duochrome, but it matches this perfect just perfect the palette I am in heaven okay so between this one and the cosmic brushes palette I don't know which one I like more they both have unique colors to them they are not the same color story they are not the exact same formula they are both perfect formulas no matter how you slice it I played with seven mattes three shimmers ten total out of 24 still have a ways to go before I really know how well this palette performs but for this eye look it performed amazing the formulas feel so smooth and buttery just like every other blend bunny palette i own there are several videos featuring blend bunny on my channel already if you're curious i have mixed a couple palettes together i'm looking forward to playing with this one in a video with the cosmic brushes cool trolls palette combining them, seeing what I can come up with, and then seeing if I can make the exact same eye look with both palettes. But I don't think I can because a lot of these, they're not duped within each palette. I think they are very unique and stand on their own. I think these palettes are very versatile. You have light shades, even with the shimmers all the way to deep, perfect setup. I love the way that this is appealing to the eye, each color row. You can make a look with just every row. You can make a look with each quad. If you want to, I, I mean, there's so much you can do. I'm, I went between the green teals and more of like, well, I'm not good with it describing colors. So probably don't listen to me when it comes to describing colors, but I, I went with multiple different rows here and then even combined a couple outside of those and came up with a look that I just feel is just a grungy, sultry, longing look that I'm proud of. I'm very proud of it. I actually intended to create a look that was user friendly that you could follow along with. And I got carried away, I'm sorry. But I love this palette, I think it's absolutely beautiful. My favorite up until this point was the Dollhouse palette and Surge. I just, those have always been my favorite. But honestly, I like this one more than Dollhouse. I think this one will be one that I reach for over that. As always, thank you guys so much for spending your day with me. I hope you felt inspired. I appreciate you more than you know. Do something for yourself today because you're worth it.